Seven great views on the Camino Francis. That's what I'd like to share this week, and that's coming right up. So in sharing any sort of favorites or anything like that uh, regarding the Camino, it's really difficult. Uh, you know, I've got videos on favorite food and favorite accommodation and favorite things. And it's so hard to pick favorites from a journey that really every day is almost a favorite. But what I've tried to do here is to pick a number of views that I, I really think were quite memorable. Um, maybe I could call them seven landscapes. Um, but uh, seven very different ones, and maybe some that you wouldn't necessarily think of. So let's get into it. Well, so far so good on day one. Uh, I left Saint-Jean at about eight o'clock. Uh, with some trepidation, I really wasn't sure how my legs were gonna hold up. Uh, so I popped a few painkillers at breakfast time, that seemed to have done the job. The first bit of climb out of Saint-Jean is fairly tough. So day one over the Pyrenees, I mean, that's got to be one of the most outstanding views on the Camino Francis if you're walking from Saint-Jean. Um, it's that combination of day one on the Camino, the energy, the enthusiasm, the excitement of it all, uh, plus, you know, that, that increasing sort of altitude um, going up to something like 1400 meters. But the views are incredible. Just looking back into France where we walked today, you know, it's really interesting when you get into your walking rhythm, you know, just one foot in front of the other, plod, 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 you sort of lose yourself in your own little world. The caves just kind of seem to fall away. I think that's why I quite like walking on my own. Just look at this, the wind and the wheat. I've picked number two uh, as the route to Los Arcos. Um, I just really enjoyed that. Uh, it was beautiful countryside. There's, there's an old castle that you see in the distance. Um, it was the first experience of seeing what I call crop waves. Uh, I think it was wheat in the fields being blown around by the, by, by the wind and it was just a glorious day and a beautiful countryside. Just leaving the village of Granon after a coffee and a bit of ice on the hills. I've got a big day tomorrow, my first 30k day, so I really want to look after my feet today. And uh, I don't know whether you can see, sort of looking down in the valley, there's some farm buildings, a couple of pilgrims walking past there, and then go follow up above them, and you can see some crossing right to left. And so coming out of Santo Domingo, you're coming along the road there a bit, and then off through the countryside towards Grenon. Grenon uh, has a... a a wonderful albergue that I have yet to try. It's a Donativo albergue as part of the church, so I really want to try that at some point. But just coming out of Grenon, um, I don't know what it was. That, that countryside just appealed to me so much. The rolling farmland, uh, it was a glorious day, and I just love that section from Grenon going into Belorado. I picked for my number four best views, uh, the section from... Um, or the, the section just prior to San Juan de Ortega, uh, where you're up on a, on a high bit of ground going through a forest. And most of the day is through a pine forest. Uh, you're walking along a big sort of fire trail um, and it's a lovely landscape. I, I just love being in that forest. Um, it's quite a long day. First time for me, it was a very hot day, um, but it was just a lovely change in landscape and a day that I really enjoyed. What we found, five Ks from where are we going? No, San Juan. San Juan. Little donation set up. Little umbrella. Now I was thinking cold drink. What were you thinking when you saw the umbrella? Better not be a picnic. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Someone getting their picnic stolen. <laughs>
And then I picked from my number seven, I, I, as I was going through all of my videos and pictures, I reached seven by the time I got to the Cruise de Ferro. So uh, if you enjoy these little clips, maybe I'll, I'll do another you know, five or six favorite views. Um, but I couldn't pass up, of course, the Cruise de Ferro. Um, and you know th that walk up to the Cruise de Ferro, I love doing that at dawn and looking back through the, the, you know, the sunrise at the wonderful landscape, and then of course getting to the Cruise de Ferro itself. But past the Cruise de Ferro, I, I just think this landscape is stunning from there because you've got these mountaintop views, um, you have wonderful lavender growing everywhere, um, and, it, and it's just an amazing landscape. And, and, and then of course you come down the other side, down towards Molinaseca, quite a steep uh, decline down through uh, El Cibo. But yeah, that that would be my number seven, definitely. That whole stretch almost from Font de Badon to uh, Molina Seca, wonderful, wonderful views. So there's my seven picks for wonderful views along the Camino Francis. What would you choose? Um, do comment down below if there's a particular section or a particular area that you thought really had amazing views and it's, it's so hard to isolate one or two, but I'd love to hear back from you. Um, and if you haven't walked the Camino yet, maybe if you're thinking of walking the Camino Francis, what sections are you really looking forward to Forward to in terms of landscapes? Um, I mean, I didn't get as far as talking about um, Othobrero or any of those areas, so maybe you're looking forward to those as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.